This is the investigative story that has reignited the long simmering controversy. The New York Times claims to have uncovered fresh evidence of a culture of widespread recklessness and illegality on the news of the world under Andy Coulson. Its key sources say when he was editor, Coulson was fully aware his reporters were hacking into the phones of royals, politicians and celebrities. But the News of the World, owned of course by Rupert Murdoch, says the New York Times is simply trying to attack News International to help protect its own circulation. The Wall Street Journal is the New York Times' great competitor in this city, and that too is now owned by Murdoch. But it's an allegation that one US media expert says has no real merit, especially given the integrity of the journalists involved. It's absurd to think that the business interests of the New York Times company have infiltrated the hearts and notebooks of two Pulitzer Prize winning reporters and tainted uh, their, their, this, this investigation. It's not absurd to think that uh, there's glee in the New York Times newsroom this week over a, a very solid hit on, on arrival. The editor of the New York Times is both defending his reporters and accusing Scotland Yard of failing to investigate with enough rigor. Our story speaks for itself, said Bill Keller, and makes clear that the police already have evidence that they have chosen not to pursue. The news of the world's counter-allegation that the New York Times has pursued and slanted an investigation for its own commercial purposes is a high-risk strategy, for it questions the editorial integrity of one of the world's most reputable newspapers. Robert Moore, ITV News, New York.